I think USC should go get an NFL coach. I think name image likeness is going to be a little bit of an avalanche for the next decade. And these NFL coaches are not control freaks. They've dealt with players getting paid. They're very comfortable with it. They've got owners in the NFL. They're not in the I have to control everything business. Um, I said Doug Peterson to me. Uh, Matt Nagy, if the if the Bears fired him. Anthony Lynn, all won playoff games in the NFL. All have a presence. Uh, if you go look at USC, Miami, and UCLA, three urban universities, if you look at the coaches that have had the most success, Pete Carroll, John Robinson, USC, pro coaches. Chip Kelly, pro coach, is getting it rolling. Dick Vermeil, UCLA, pro coach. How about Miami? Last time they won, Butch Davis, Dennis Erickson, Jimmy Johnson. When you get to these big distracted cities, you need a big presence to cut through. I always said this about Georgetown basketball. When USC was at its best, I remember Kirk Herbstreet saying to me, he goes, when I go to USC games, it's not it's college, but not just college. It feels like somewhere between the NFL and college. And that's what the Miami Hurricanes felt like. And that's what the Georgetown Hoyas felt like with Ewing and Iverson and David Wingate and Reggie Williams, Alonzo Mourning, Georgetown in D.C. It was a college basketball program, but it had the attitude and the intimidation and personality of a pro team. So did USC with Pete Carroll. So did Miami with Jimmy Johnson and Dennis Erickson. This is not rural America. These are distracted markets. There's pro sports everywhere. You got to cut through. And I just think in Los Angeles right now, every college football reporter has the same names. James Franklin's not getting this job. He's making eight and a half million a year at Penn State. He, you'd have to buy him out for four million. So that's four million in a buyout. He would have want at least 10 to 12 million to coach USC to make the money right because LA is so expensive. His staff would be eight to 10 million. USC is not going to pay $25 million for a coach. They're not going to write that check. They're also in Los Angeles, not going to let somebody walk in and control the program. Doesn't work that way. This is not Ames, Iowa. You know, these, this is not a small town where, you know, Nick Saban can do whatever he wants, whenever he wants. That's fine in Alabama. You know, that, that's not going to work here. And so I think there are these very unique college cities, Miami, Los Angeles, where you have to attack it differently. And I, D.C. with Georgetown, you got to attack it differently. And I hope USC thinks big. But, God, if I have to see, Chris Peterson ain't taking the job, doesn't want it, told me that. Bob Stoops has been offered three or four jobs. He's not doing it. James Franklin, USC's not going to let a guy come in and just control the athletic department. He's a control guy. Most of these college guys, they have to, they have, to have the secretary. Uh, they have to have the budgets. That's just not what USC is going to do. Also right now, if I was a college coach, I'd use USC to get a raise at my school. I mean, the Pac-12 television contract right now is a mess. It's a mess. USC is highly political. Yeah, it's not a perfect job. It's not 1990. It's not Pete Carroll's LA when you had no NFL in town. You have to win and you have to win a certain way. And frankly, the demands are intense. And the minute you lose a game, people are uninterested. You don't get the guaranteed 92,000 home field advantage. It's not the way it works in L.A. People have other things to do. I've always said this. Whenever you have a beach, Miami and L.A., it's like adding another pro team. It's just another option that's fun that people can go to. I mean, what else are you going to do in Auburn, Alabama? Tallahassee, Florida. Gainesville, Florida. I mean, what else are you going to do? 90% of college football powers are in the middle of nowhere. It's the only game in town. USC, the minute you go on a two-game losing streak, your revenue drops through the floor. Do you see the Coliseum Saturday? There was nobody in it. Third quarter, nobody in it. So you gotta you gotta cut through, you gotta get a big personality. You got to get an NFL guy. Go big. God, college football was so much bigger years ago. Miami, Pete Carroll, Lou Holt. It feels so 
insular now. I mean, we, we basically know who's playing in the national championship Final Four now. You know, write the teams down. I think, I think USC needs to lead the way. 